Crypto Overdose, thank you for the four months. Yo, 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 guys. Overdose Gaming here, back again with another Elden Ring video. Today, I'm going to be Onion Man, and we're going to run right into the Lord of Blood. And we're going to take him out. No kidding, guys. Maybe like the 100 try. It took me a long time to get this one, but he was a boss to be reckoned with. He had this thing called blood loss. It'll, it'll pop back up here. But guys, bigger hands is slowly taking over as Elden Lord King God, the bigger hands man. It's going to be incredible. Whenever I get this game done, I'm probably going to play back through with the community. So guys, we're probably going to stream this over on YouTube. We're going to be Christian family friendly Minecraft channel at that point. And I actually can't wait to do that. And from what I'm seeing from the YouTube community side of things in this game too, is that they're actually getting featured on the front page. So I'm going to guess right now that YouTube's actually experimenting a little bit with their live stream paging right now. Um, getting that algorithm started and kicked up just so we can see what it might actually look like to have a YouTube slash live page. I think that will happen pretty soon here. But guys, for right now, I've been streaming over on Twitch. So overdose on Twitch on uh, twitch.tv right over there. You can do that Tuesday, Thursday, nine to five. I've definitely been there. The grind has been real. We just hit a thousand followers or a thousand two hundred followers, hit nine thousand views. So that view to follow ratio is pretty solid. A lot of people just stop in, say hello and then hit that follow button. So it's been really, really, really fun. But guys, you can also hit that subscribe button over here on Overdose Gaming on YouTube so you guys can catch my latest and greatest videos. I would hope that you guys go check out my last video where I played five different kart racers in the year 2022 and got a good feel for what they might give. Now, not really looking at Mario Kart 8, but you know, you guys know that that game is going to be having booster packs for the next, what, year and a half. So definitely uh, needed a different game to play during the time. And I'm definitely enjoying a couple different Mario Kart like racers that are not those, that game. It's just not Mario Kart, guys. But go check that video out. That video will be linked in the description. And guys, click that subscribe button. It would help me out over here. Uh, hit the like on this video too. If you guys want to see more bigger hands taking out Elden Gods like they are nothing, guys. Again, this game is so much fun. The platforming elements were really, really fun. Yesterday, I played for about 10 hours. Um, so I'll probably crank another one of these games out here pretty soon too. But there you guys can go. We grinded for the view that we are about to have. I was so excited. I probably put in, well, in the 10 hours that I played, I probably took a total of 100 deaths, almost. I think I took like 85 all said and done yesterday. And it was super, super fun. Um, yesterday, I had a lot of people stop through. I played a little bit of Fortnite, but other than that, guys, uh, no build Fortnite. It's probably the only second best game to come out right now. Otherwise, we just have Elden Ring and bigger hands is taking over the world. I cannot stress that enough. And you guys will see here the Volcano Manor boss I ended up beating yesterday too. And that one was so much fun because they gave you this amazing weapon called the Serpent Hunter. I'm, I'm guessing it only works on this boss. I'm guessing it, it's not going to be good anywhere else. I took out a fire giant yesterday too, and I don't think this uh, would have worked at all on that. But you guys can see here that they give you like this thing called the Serpent Hunter. You pick it up the second you get to the Volcano Manor. I don't know if you necessarily have to do this boss or not. It's definitely optional from what I know. But guys, look at how heavy this thing is, and look at how long it can shoot. It definitely took into the bigger hands and we took this thing to the bank. Now, I think I fought this guy two times. I didn't know he was going to have a phase two. So that really threw me for a loop the first game. I wasted all my potions right away. Didn't even use this uh, weapon that they gave me. So that was definitely my mistake. I'm still learning this game. Okay, I'm just getting into the late game now. There's a lot to go over. There's a ton of elements to this game that just uh, never really occurred to me that you can do like using resin from back in dark souls now they call it grease 
uh that really helps a lot of the gameplay here and um i'm sorry if i'm drifting away from the mic a little bit guys yesterday when i was gaming i don't know if i have a highlight of this yesterday but my fucking microphone took off the stand and dropped about i don't know three feet and i like caught it in my lap when i was playing yesterday in this game and yeah I, I had to duct tape it together on stream it happened like hour two or something like that or hour one but you guys will see here uh this is definitely just a heavy fire boss so if you guys can get uh fire negation talismans um that's all you really need to do but look at this just stabbing and going and going and stabbing i caught my mimic in with this sword and the second part of this and guys mimic is my favorite ash by far you just get a copy of yourself and they can take all the heat for you and they don't always take the aggro but since i leveled it up a little bit more they've been a lot better but look at how heavy this thing hits for i mean i was slapping this guy for a long time and like i said with the mimic tier you're getting two of these at once you guys will see that here in about a minute or two but that's been my favorite tier um i know a lot of people use black knight teach now too uh that seems to be another meta since the update uh, but what i will tell you guys if you guys want to take out everything really quickly just use yourself again because you'll have two of you fighting the same boss and usually it goes about half the time and um, you guys probably saw that in the blood lord over there too but anyways uh next up on the agenda for elden ring for me is going to be going through the giant forge which i'm not really familiar too much with at all i don't know how to get down to it because you just kind of drop and die and that was right after the fire giant right and then i also have to kill a colonel uh or like a general knight somewhere in the land of the giants there's like a castle i'm going through and i definitely got wrecked on it a couple different times um i don't know how people have you know like one hit ko's to bosses i saw somebody like do it in a video and they like hit him three or four times and killed him it was absolutely nuts um you know i guess here you guys can see that i'm kind of doing that i mean this is really messing look at this just really really messing them up and that uh that beam that beam of light just shoots out at the end of the serpent hunter and hits him in the face and like i said my mimic is doing the same thing here too so it's just double the health uh we knocked him out here a couple times and guys this boss when you go into it the second form the head pops out of the back of the serpent and then it like starts attacking you for whatever reason right like i really thought that it was kind of going to be a done boss fight because the cutscene kind of implied that the guy was done fighting and he was like oh yeah like i'm gonna let you into the volcano manor or whatever turns out that you end up killing this guy too and i thought that was hilarious so whoever did the character design for elden ring just props off man every time i'm just like i'm amazed i've never seen the same enemy where i'm like you know it's just boring like every section of the game has had different cooler enemies and it, it, i don't know how much time went into this but i just assume it was way too much um but anyways you guys you can see here finish that one up easy peasy lemon squeezy i ended up getting quite a few levels yesterday and i think i went up from 120 to about 155 so 10 hours of gameplay or eight hours of gameplay from yesterday and ended up putting in about 20 or 30 levels which is what it seems to be i think that's kind of when i entered late game um it, it started taking a little bit longer to level up and that's just kind of what it does and honestly i, I really like the simplicity of this game the more that i play it the more that i want to learn and i learned yesterday that there were four different demigods and lord of the blood was one of them or the unlocated demigods so lord of the blood was one of them and i think i have three more and i'll probably go learn a little bit more about those going into tuesday next week so guys i'll be back here uh definitely check out last video on monday because overdose gaming like i did try and play a couple different games for you guys over there in the kart racing section if you guys were familiar with like ctr growing up you might enjoy that video uh crash team racing was one of my favorite games ever so yeah anyways and then um definitely check out the highlights of these streams on this channel too and just go ahead and click that subscribe button i do overdose so you guys don't have to 
and you guys have a great rest of your day look both ways before you cross the street only you can prevent forest fires stay in school don't do drugs have fun stay safe but most importantly over those on stage.